Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Got a lot of NBA and college football action going on right now. Utah, USC about to kick off. So I'm banging out this video real quick, but it's a big one. It's the ACC Championship, Clemson versus North Carolina. Let's dive in. Welcome to The Source. The Source. get the sewers all right clemson versus north carolina acc championship like i said um line is unc plus seven and a half early public is even but 66 percent of the money is on the tar heels as of monday morning but check it out as we cruise on through the week more and more action coming in on unc we're now looking at 69 percent of the tickets 70 percent of the money on the tar heels as of friday night line never moves a muscle so let's cap this game if you subscribe to this channel you already know the first step we're running the numbers through the spreadsheet According to the model, the line for this game should be UNC plus 7.32. So that basically gives us no lean at all because that's almost exactly where the books have. So let's break down this matchup and we'll start with the Clemson defense. And I honestly can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't know how much I trust this unit. I mean, there are times where they look great, but let's be honest, Spencer Rattler just ripped them up. Uh, Florida State ran all over them. Notre Dame ran all over them. Sam Hartman and Wake Forest ripped them up through the air. This is supposed to be a top five defense in the FBS, and we all know that they have the talent there, but there's just way too many instances of them just looking mediocre as shit. And the defense is gonna be on display in this game because they're playing North Carolina, and those four teams that I just said that had success against Clemson's defense, those are some solid offenses, but none of them can match North Carolina's offensive production. We're talking about North Carolina, the number one offense in the ACC as far as total yards. North Carolina averages over 470 total yards per game in conference play, and we've seen this Clemson secondary get eaten up by explosive passing attacks. Sam Harmon and Spencer Rattler showed us that. But we have to be fair and mention the fact that this North Carolina offense has not looked the same recently. Check these numbers out. So through the first eight games of UNC season, they were averaging 41.75 points a game. Through the last four games, just 27.75 points per game. So statistically, North Carolina is still the number one offense in the ACC on paper, but we've seen a dramatic drop off in their production, especially in the last two games. Keep in mind that UNC NC State game went to double overtime. So in the past two games against NC State and Georgia Tech, the North Carolina offense, this elite offense, put up 17 and 24 points. If you're familiar with North Carolina football, you know that UNC is not covering many spreads, putting up 17 and 24 points. So will this UNC offense move the ball and score points on Clemson? I mean, yes, on paper they should, but 17 points and 24 points against Georgia Tech and NC State, Clemson's defense is rated higher than both those teams, significantly higher than Georgia Tech. So I actually think we're going to see Clemson's defense step up and make some plays. Now, what about Clemson's offense? What about when Clemson has the ball? Uh, obviously, there are plenty of negative talking points surrounding DJU at quarterback, especially coming off a game where he goes eight for 29 with 99 yards passing. I honestly don't know if I've ever seen that before. I mean, 27.6% completions in a D1 football game. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I'm not talking shit, seriously. Here's the good news for Clemson. Their offensive line is loaded with talent and it's so good. And North Carolina's defense is so bad that Clemson could probably win this game straight up without dropping back to pass once. So DJ, you couldn't throw the ball last week, okay? Will Shipley had 132 yards rushing and a touchdown on just 15 carries. That was against South Carolina. North Carolina's defense is terrible. This UNC Tar Heel defense made the Virginia Cavalier offense look pretty dangerous. Notre Dame came into North Carolina and rushed for 287 yards on 5.6 yards per carry on the Tar Heels defense, steamrolled them. The reason I brought up Notre Dame is if you look at North Carolina's schedule, Notre Dame is definitely the closest comparison you'll see to Clemson's offense as far as talent on the offensive line and the run game goes. Clemson should be ripping off five, six, seven yards of carry all night, no problem. I don't think there's anything UNC's defense can do to stop it. And I like Drake May, he looks talented as hell. He's gonna have a huge career in the ACC for sure. But let's be real and call it what it is. This is a freshman in the ACC championship game against Clemson's defense that's just loaded with NFL players. Drake May only threw three interceptions through the first 10 games of the season. He's thrown one in each of the last two games. It seems as the pressure is mounting, we're starting to see this kid make a few more mistakes. He still looks good, don't get me wrong, but his production has definitely dropped off. I can't back the Tar Heels here. I think Clemson's going to steamroll this defense. I think they're gonna make it look easy. Will we see Drake May uh, make some plays in the passing game? Probably, but it won't be enough. I'm gonna lay the seven and a half. Give me Clemson minus seven and a hook 
let's go. If anything changes with this bet, I'll let you know on Twitter, so give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you want the final tickets that we put out, uh, bet of the day, parlays of the day, top bets, that kind of stuff, head over to kylekerms.com or download the Sauce Network app. Conference Championship Saturday, followed by a loaded NFL Sunday. Let's have ourselves a great weekend. Remember to bet responsibly, and I will talk to you on Twitter.